Hey folks, let's uh, go ahead and continue here. Uh, so in this lesson, we are going to be setting up our first dynamic simulation and, uh, you know, doing the basic of it. Uh, and let's see what we can do here. So here we have the elements that we created from the last lesson. Now I'm just going to simply select this clone, go to MoGraph, hold on shift, click on cloner, and put all of these guys into this cloner, select the cloner. I'm going to change the type from linear to grid array. And let's, uh, for X, I know, something like 9, maybe 4, 9, something like this. As you can see, they are really organized right now. That's what we don't want. Uh, and we really need as uh, much chaos as possible. So let's go ahead and change the clones to be randomly distributed. That's great. Now, now let's go ahead and see how we can actually distribute these guys. I'm gonna just move this guy here. I'm using these orange dots to sort of go ahead and see how they work. Make sure they don't uh, kinda integrate and let's see what we can do here. I just wanna make sure maybe something like this. Okay, let's move them up. Okay, and the size of them, I don't know. Let's see uh, if needs be, we can actually uh, change them a bit later on. Now let's go ahead and add the, the dynamic tag. So right click simulation tag, rigid body tag. Go to the collision and make sure the inherit tag, actually individual elements is set to all. Uh, sorry, all. And uh, there we go. And for this room, I just want to make sure we don't have any tags uh, under the elements because while uh, we were creating them, we added so many tags. I think there are uh, a lot of here in this uh, hierarchy. So I'm going to just select this tag and right click and say uh, there select uh, identical uh, child tags. So if you click on that, you can see if there is any tag. Uh, selected any tag like this will be uh, selected I'm just going to hit delete and now uh, basically we are we don't have any tag I'm just going to right click on this room simulation add a collider body tag and let's go make sure apply tag to children has uh, selected and uh, let's go and see what we basically get if I hit play so let's let me actually save this guy. Uh, zero three, zero four, and let's hit play. Okay, and kind of works. Even though they are very bouncy right now and acting kind of crazy, but as you can see. Um, so now the first problem I think we should solve sort of um, this bounciness. So I'm going to select this uh, tag that I have applied to these clones and go to the collision and change the bounce to something like 10%. Now uh, the bounce amount is really not 10%. The bounce amount is a combination of the bounce amount of these elements and the other dynamic elements that are reacting with, which uh, is uh, this tag here. So at 15 and 10, so something like 30%. Now the bounce amount is uh, the other time was you know 50% for uh, both of them. So let's let's hit play. Now they are kind of looks much more um, calm than they were before. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna select this tag. Under the force, there is this linear damping and angular damping, which helps to kind of slows the elements down a bit. Uh, the uh, linear is for the moving and the angular is for uh, their rotation. So um, let's go to something like 20% uh, for both of them and hit play again. And hopefully they should settle down kind of a bit quicker. And yeah, so you can see now it's much more nicer, generally speaking. And okay, 
Let's see if there is any problem if I render. Okay. Uh, I kind of everything looks fine. It doesn't have to be really exact because, you know, for example, uh, see. I'm gonna render it again and see what's going on here. Okay, absolutely not too bad. As you can see, they are reacting with here. They are here. There are a bunch of them are uh, in this other room. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is to apply some uh, a random effector to this cloner. So MoGraph and random effector. I'm just putting it at the same hierarchy. So. So let's select this random effector and go to the parameters. I'm gonna enable scale, enable uniform scaling, and go to something like 0.4. Let's hit get there. Now we have some randomness going on, uh, and I think it's enough. And also, I'm going to select this dynamic tag, even you don't have to actually select it. Sim simulates particles and add a turbulence. I'm gonna put the turbulence at the same hierarchy and go to the tag make sure you have applied that now uh, when you add these uh, forces they are uh, automatically being uh, effect, being applied to uh, different dynamic elements that are in the scene but because i really want to have a, a kind of very uh, particular control over my different uh, dynamic simulations so i just use this turbulence effector for these uh, elements here so i change the force mode to include and include this turbulence mode. So now this turbulence mode, uh, this dynamic simulation just be affected by this turbulence effector. And if I add uh, some other uh, forces here, they won't uh, be uh, kind of, uh, they won't affect these elements uh, until I add them here in this list. So I want this kind of control really. So let's go ahead to this turbulence. Uh, let's add a bit more scale. Maybe let's go to 200% and let's hit play and see what we get this time. Uh, by the way, I, I kind of, you can see, uh, increase the uh, duration here to 500 frames, even though we were not sure how many frames we are going to need. So let's hit play and see what we get. Now, as you can see, that's the effect of turbulence. You can see it's move them around. They kind of moves in um uh, you know for no reason look they come back and they move and they kind of that makes them to be uh, dynamic they stay still maybe we can uh add the frequency here to 200 percent and that they should kind of move and stay and move and stay a bit more Now, if we add the strength here, that definitely makes them kind of go crazy. And let's see how 10 centimeter of strength will work on there. Okay. I think I'm going to love this one a bit more. Kind of move them. They stay alive. Yeah. That's a bit too much. And I think let's scale up the noise that makes this turbulence work. Um, yeah, that sort of feels better for myself when this part's getting so kind of uh, messy. Let's. What's happen if we change this? to force. Wow, look at that. <laughs> really, you have to... That's the aerodynamic. I think acceleration is the best one here. And let's go to something like 100 of a scale and see how that works. I really want to have them in this area. don't want to kind of empty those areas. I want them to fill the room. I am not sure. Let's go to 
again and see what this time uh, we're gonna have it's really you just adjust different parameters and hope that they are gonna you see 200 person looks like to be too much of a scale 100 50 percent C I think it would be really helpful if there was a seed parameter for the uh, this whole turbulence effect here. Okay, now that's not too much. I think it's enough and uh, let's go ahead and we can kind of animate this strength here but uh, the next thing I'm gonna do in this lesson I don't want my scene to start like this I want them for example to be about here when the whole thing starts so let's uh, go ahead maybe somewhere about frame 67 is enough let's go ahead and see I'm just trying to see which frame is the best to start the scene. I think frame 17 is enough, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go to one frame to see. Let's start in frame 17. So I'm going to select this dynamic tag, go to the dynamic part and set initial state. Now if I get back here, you can see that's how the scene is going to start, which I love it. Let's render and see what we have and if there is any problem. Now we haven't added any sort of lighting yet and we are gonna need to add them definitely. And uh, yeah, I think this is nice. Let's see how these guys are working and if there is any obvious problem or not. What's this sphere is doing here? There we go. Now, yeah, I think general speaking we are good and uh, the interaction is great. Now, if we want to add uh, kind of and have more control and, uh, you know, exactly control how these spheres are moving around, we can, for example, add a, a wind force and add them, for example, back here so that uh, blows them this way. But it really uh, depends on the scene and when we add the uh, different uh, the second part of our simulation the bags and uh, spheres and stuff that fills that bag uh, then we can decide whether to stay with the simulation or change it so in this lesson we set up our uh, first dynamic simulation and uh, added some effectors and forces uh, and worked on our dynamic tag in our um, so uh, yeah, see you uh, in next lesson and we're going to talk more about our project.